far from her home territory, a female leopard finds a willing partner. The mating pair spend two to three days with each other, copulating frequently. The strangely fierce encounter lasts only moments. The male moves off to reinforce the boundaries of his territory with sprays of urine. An hour later, the female tracks him down and advertises her desire to copulate once more. The foreplay could be described as affectionate, a rare display among leopards which are solitary creatures. Again, the gentle seduction transforms into a savage bout. As the time of the female's estrus draws to a close, she returns to her own territory to wait out the 100-day gestation period. At six weeks old, the two cubs stay close to their mother in one of their bushveld lairs. Execution by rival predators remains a constant threat. Once impregnated, the female's need for the cub's father came to an end. Now she protects and raises the infants on her own. They will continue suckling for another 45 days. And to keep up her supply of milk, the mother must periodically leave them to hunt. At these times, the cubs are most at risk. A nearby group of spotted hyena has long known about their existence. Should they get the chance, they will not hesitate to kill the little ones, not for food, but to reduce future competition in their territory. Oblivious to this threat, the cubs inquisitively explore the rocky area near the lair. Realizing the dangerous proximity of their hyenas, the mother turns back. Playfully ignorant of the enemy, one of the youngsters retreats and hides, hoping for a little game. Hastily, she carries her offspring to another lair, hoping to buy some time. By continually shifting their location, the female increases their precarious chances of survival. 50% of leopard cubs die before maturity. Her strategy reaps success. The outwitted hyenas depart for more promising hunting grounds. As the weeks turn into months, every day that passes with two cubs by her side is further testimony to the mother's mastery of the bushveld and its harsh ways. The youngsters learn these ways, in turn moving on to establish their own territories. And thus they perpetuate this chronicle of nature's greatest moments. Thank you.